attention. All hints and tips shown here are personal experiences and serve as support. The repair is at your own risk. All repairing tools used by us in the video can be found on our webshop stellatech.com. Just follow the links in the video description. There are two ways to change the LCD screen of the iPad Pro 12.9. First way is to use a new LCD screen that already includes the LCD flex cable. We strongly recommend this way. Second way is to use a new LCD screen that does not include a LCD flex cable. This means that you have to transfer the LCD flex cable from the old screen to the new one. This step is only for professionals, because the flex must be soldered. The variety of solder points is a potential source of error. If you do not work very cleanly at one point, this can lead to the display not working properly or only to a limited extent. Please write us in the comments on how difficult you felt the repair. Make sure that this flex cable is pre-assembled in your new LCD screen if you're not a professional. Opening the device. Power off the device. Remove the SIM card tray. Heat the LCD screen slightly along its edges. Fix the suction cup laterally on the screen. Use a thin and flexible tool, for example the iPlastics opening tool, to slide it between screen and frame. Simultaneously raise up the LCD screen carefully by pulling on the suction cup. Possibly, it could be helpful to use a thin metal tool additionally, for example the Isesamo metal spudger. Use one of the tools as a placeholder. Heat the LCD screen again. In addition, you can also use one or two plectrum tools to release the adhesive completely. While releasing the adhesive, you can move the suction cup to different locations on the screen to raise it up a little bit. If the display is cracked, extreme care should be taken when opening the device. Small pieces of broken glass can easily come loose when levering and get into your eyes. It is best to put on protective googles. Take plenty of time to open the device and work your way forward bit by bit. It is best to try out by yourself which tool to use. A spudger could also be helpful in releasing the adhesive. As soon as the adhesive is released completely, you can raise up the LCD screen carefully. Attention. There are two flex cables, LCD and touch, located in the middle of the LCD screen, which are still connected with the mainboard. Do not damage them when raising up the screen. Lift the LCD screen enough to remove the two screws cross from the connector covering. Then you can remove the covering with a tweezer. Release the two connectors below this covering with the help of this budger. Now you can remove the screen. Removing the home button flex as well as the front camera cover. Heat the home button module slightly. Remove the protective foil of the connector with the help of the tweezer. Release the flex carefully with the spudger. Then 
Heat the whole home button module again slightly. Disconnect the home button connector with the plectrum tool and release the whole home button flex bit by bit. Heat again and again meanwhile. Release the two adhesive coverings carefully with the help of the tweezer and remove it. Remove the home button covering with the tweezer and the spudger. Then you can remove the whole home button flex. Now, do also heat the plastic covering of the front camera opening slightly from the front side of the screen and remove it with the tweezer because it must also be transferred to the new screen. Transferring the home button and the front camera cover to the new LCD screen. Hint. We are using a new screen including the LCD flex cables for this repair. But you can also buy screens without LCD flex. In this case you have to transfer the LCD flex from the old screen to the new one. This can be only recommended for professionals because the flex has to be soldered. There are many little soldered points which leads to the fact that this step is extremely error prone. If only one of the soldering points is processed incorrect this can lead to the effect that the display is not working at all or only to a limited extent. First, you have to prepare the new LCD screen by putting the flex cables in the correct position and connecting them together. Then you can fix the home button module on the new LCD screen. To do this, Place the home button module, connect it and stick it in place by using double-faced universal adhesive tape. The front camera cover must be transferred to the new LCD screen as well. We recommend using the double-faced universal adhesive also for this step. Removing the mainboard covering and interrupting the contact with the battery. In order to avoid a short circuit when connecting the new display, the contact to the battery should be interrupted for this step. To do this, remove the screws of the mainboard covering and lever out the covering carefully to remove it. At the place where the battery is connected, you can easily slide a plectrum tool to interrupt the contact. Connecting the new LCD screen and closing the device. Before connecting the LCD screen to the mainboard, you have to fix the adhesive foil on the frame. Hint: We suggest using the original LCD adhesive for the iPad Pro 12.9. Alternatively, you can also use double-faced universal adhesive. Then connect the LCD flex cables to the mainboard. Remove the plectrum tool, which interrupts the contact with the battery. Insert the mainboard covering and fix it with the screws. Then do also insert the covering of the LCD connectors and fix it with the screws. Then you can lay down the LCD screen on the frame and push it solid once around the whole screen. We look forward to your comments and if you liked the video, do not forget to click thumbs up. Please let us know if you have questions or suggestions for future videos. All shown tools and spare parts can be found on our webshop, stellatech.com.